Look at what the Bible said. Prayers we are made. Prayers we are offered. Prayers we are declared by the church for Peter. Saying it will not be as it was with James. Ah, kubashante grutafa ele kutu bakika basia prata. I speak over you today. It will not be for you as it was with others. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, your case will not be like the case of others that were negative. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will not end up like others who were killed ended up. You will not end up like others who were destroyed ended up. That will not be your story or your testimony in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your case from today is different in Jesus' mighty name. Scripture says, an angel of the Lord showed forth in the prison. As he showed forth, the chains that were in his hands fell. I wonder what happened to the two soldiers that were chained with him so as to keep him locked up somewhere along the line. I'm sure they slept off. They were slain by the spirit. Everyone that has been put as a guard, they will fall and never rise in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every chain that they use to chain you to people who will consistently monitor you, I break those chains in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I break the chains of witches and wizards. I break the manipulations of occultic personnel and witches and wizards. They will not see you anymore. They will not be able to monitor you anymore. The chains they use to tie you to one spot or to certain yoke fellows. I break those chains and I set you free from them in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Bible says that the door <laughs> opened up without anybody putting a key in it. I wonder what happened to the guards that were outside the gate, outside the door. Because never forget, every door is a gate. It's a gateway. It's an entry point or an exit point. At this time, they had put Peter through it. It was an entry point where they took him into and locked him. But now when the angel showed up and the door opened, it was for him to come out. It was now an exit point. And the door opened up and he came out. And after the angel took him through one world and a second world, they came before the main gate, the main door that leaded into the city. Scripture says that that same great door opened up by its own accord and Peter came out, moving and walking from one street to another. My God, I say this by the strength of the Lord. Every door, no matter how great they are, spiritual or physical, that they've used to lock you into a place, that they've used to hinder your glory, your grace, your power, your abundance and blessings, I decree those doors begin to open unto you now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Why? Because he says, I am the door of the sheep. I am the only one that can lock the sheep in. I am the only one that can open up for the sheep. Sikaba. And even right now, I say to you, wherever men locked you up in, today, today, by the sound of my voice, Jesus says, he's opening that door for you. You are coming out. You shall not in any way be bound or held captive anymore in the name of of the Lord Jesus Christ. I prophesy you're coming out. I decree you are coming out. I call you out of the place where they locked you in, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If the main gate, if the main door could open up for Jesus, because he was the door for Peter to come out, I say this same gate's of the wicked that has locked you in. They are opening up now for Jesus. Because he's the main door. He's the main door. He's the main door. You are opening. They are opening up for you right now. So I see you coming out of that bondage. I see you come out of that problem. I see you come out of that issue. I see you come out of that condition. You are exiting that place 
of abandonment. You are coming out of that place where they locked you in, in the place of despotency. You are coming out of that place where they kept you locked up in isolation. You are coming out of that place where they kept you and locked you up in a place of penury. I see you come out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The forces of the wicked shall hold you no more bound in Jesus' mighty name. Look at what the Bible says. When Jesus stood before that ancient great door, he said, O ye doors, ye everlasting doors, be ye lifted up for the king of glory to come in. And the force behind the door, the power behind the door said, Who is the king of glory? He said, The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. To show you the actual word. He who is the actual door <laughs> says, door open. And that door, even that ancient door, that everlasting door that had never opened up for any, opened up because the door commanded it to open and it opened. So I say this, therefore, whether it's an ancient door that has locked you up in a stagnant position, whether it's an ancient door from your father's house or your mother's house and has kept you in this condition of bondage, in this condition of pain, in this condition of sorrow, in this condition of having nothing to show for life, in this condition of perpetual abject scarcity, poverty, and deprivation, I decree that ancient door opens up right now and you come out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The mystery of this is heavy and I'll be carrying on from here even tomorrow. But before I let you go, please hear this which scripture says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter number 16 verse 9 for a great door, an effectual door is opened unto me. A great door, an effectual door, is opened unto me. There might be many adversaries, but the door opened up to me. So the adversaries could not stop the door from being opened. Ah, Uluwao, I speak to you under the sound of my voice. It doesn't matter the number of adversaries that have stood like these guards have stood to watch over you so that you don't come out of this predicament, this situation of life in which they locked you in. I say to you by the word of the Lord, a great door has been opened to you. And Jesus declared, I am that door that has opened up to you and no man, no man can shut this door anymore. What's the essence? So that you can go in and go out through the door called Jesus and find pasture, find sustenance, find blessings and experience greatness. This is your portion. I release such unto you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Go and prosper. Go and shine. Pass through this door called Jesus and begin to experience such blessings that you've never had before in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please hear this. The I amness of the Lord is the power of creation. Is the spirit of divine consciousness. Is the grace of the heavens released to the earth. It's the power of divinity made manifest in the midst of humanity. So when he says he's the door, what he's saying to you and I is that he's the portal. He's the portal. He's the opening that you need to exit one realm into another realm. To exit one place into another place. To exit one level into another level. And the way it goes is, we go from a lower point 
to a higher point, from a small place to a great place, from a small level to a wonderful, glorious level. That's your portion. By the door of Jesus, enter into a new level of life. Enter into abundance. Enter into greatness like never before in Jesus' name. Till I come your way tomorrow, never forget this. Every day for you will be a plus and not a minus in Jesus' mighty name. Press the like button and share this video with somebody. See you by 12 tomorrow and God will bless you. Stay blessed and stay rapturable in Jesus' name.